Praise the Lord. I'm Bishop Eric Kincaid Clark. Welcome to Megabytes. Today's lesson is found in St. John chapter 13. We find Jesus Christ washing the disciples' feet. Now, for those that are not familiar with that custom, they wore sandals in that day, and most of their travel was by foot. When you came into the house, the least ranking person or the person that was on the lowest realm of the totem pole would be given the job or duty of washing the guest's feet. There Jesus Christ and his disciples were in the upper room having the Last Supper. And once dinner was finished, the Bible tells us that Christ girds himself with a towel. He gets down on his knees and begins to wash his disciples' feet. It was an act of servitude. It was an act of humility where Christ begins to get on his hands and knees and wash his disciples' feet, proving that he was the greatest among them. As he taught, the greatest is a servant. Anybody that will be great in the kingdom of God, anybody that will be promoted, let him humble himself. Let him take upon himself the form of a servant. We learned many years ago that the word minister means to serve. And if you're going to do the will of God, it doesn't mean that you will be arrogant. It doesn't mean that you will be proud and high-minded, but it means that you will be a servant, that you're willing to give of yourself, your service, and your substance to help those and to represent Christ as a part of the kingdom of God. Let us remember that Christ girded himself with a towel, got on his knees, and he washed his disciples' feet. I'm Bishop Eric Kincaid Clark. And this has been your Megabyte.